So many stories these days seem to revolve around woke lunacy. Uh, we've got about three lined up for you tonight. Uh, none is much worse than the next one we're going to talk about here. The Playhouse Theatre in London, one of the major theatres where Cabaret uh, is currently appearing, starring Eddie Redmayne, big production. Uh, they've got gender-neutral loos now, causing chaos, apparently, uh, during the intermission as men and women crowd into the same urinals, uh, trying to relieve themselves. Uh, nobody wants it, nobody likes it. Uh, meanwhile, we've got the Barbican Theatre has the same set up here in London uh, the uh, various galleries, I was in the Tate Gallery the other day, the Tate Modern uh, and they've got gender neutral loos and uh, one of the things I didn't like about it, because it's uh, ha they have to accommodate both genders in other words, e ev everyone I mean these lavatories were vast they were about the size of a football pitch, you know, as, as far as the eye could see, cubicles disappearing towards the horizon. So hideous. Anyway, I have never met anyone, male or female, who likes gender-neutral lavatories. Uh, as I so eloquently put it in the tabloid style, this is lunacy. Uh, it is everyone bowing to a few virtue-signalling woke warriors who somehow think it's modern to make men and women go into the same urinals. It's not. And by the way, women, uh, if they're discovering now what it's like in men's uh, toilets, uh, they uh, must know that it was a bad idea if any of them asked for it in the first place. Uh, they now know why it's such a bad idea. Uh, the ladies uh, should stick to their own places because you don't want to come into ours. They're disgusting. Uh, let's uh, talk to uh, writer for The Spectator and founder of Standing for Women, Kelly J. Keane. Uh, good evening, Kelly J. Hello, good evening. Uh, you're going to go and see Cabaret at the Playhouse Theatre? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did go to the Lyceum, though, at the weekend with my son, and uh, we both went to the loo in the interval, and <laughs> I must say he was back at his seat a lot quicker than I was. <laughs> um, if they wanted to improve the situation for women when it comes to going to the loo in public places, they just double the amount of toilets. Um, but as they're not doing that, I think we know it's not really for the benefit of anyone. Yeah. <laughs> They've made uh toilets. I'm not going to say gender neutral I'm going to say unisex because gender neutral implies that we leave some sort of ideological position at the door and we, be, we become neutral and really what it means is men and women sharing a toilet which um as you rightly say I mean the last thing I want when I go to the loo is um Lots of uh, blokes, I know, blokes the doing their business, and the, <laughs> so people often say, "Oh, this makes women very uncomfortable," and I'm sure that's true. Mm. Uh, but I can tell you, it makes men uncomfortable as well. You know, we're not all kind of uh, thuggish oafs. Uh, some of us uh, worry about the sensibilities uh, of women, and I don't like the idea of doing this uh, in in front of them. And uh, I don't think they like the idea of having to tend to their own needs in front of us. Mm. Nobody wants this i've never met anyone who wants gender neutral loose unisex toilets as you call them uh why are they there why are all these establishments doing it i i can only imagine there was some crazy little meeting where somebody said what about this minority vocal bullish uh group of people that feel uncomfortable going into men, male toilets or female toilets. And how can we make it more comfortable for that less than 1% of uh, the population and forego the sensibilities of 99%? I mean, look, if I'm a man, the one thing I can do if I'm a man is, A, I can go to the loo in a country road and I don't have to wait for a decent toilet <laughs> if I'm desperate when I'm moving along. And also, when it comes to public loos, I can quickly whip in, do whatever I need to do, and come straight back out again and I'm happy, well, wash my hands and then I'm happy as Larry, right? But now men can't do that because if there are u urinals in these unisex toilets, which I I hope there aren't, but I have a feeling there probably are, um, what man is going to want to actually use a urinal knowing that any minute, like 
an 11-year-old girl or an elderly woman or any woman at all is going to walk past behind them. Sarah Vine uh, wrote uh, very eloquently about this in the Mail today and she, she actually said, men may enjoy peeing in front of each other but women are secretive creatures when it comes to toileting. Uh, well, that may well be the case but what I don't agree with is men, men do not enjoy peeing in front of each other we, but, uh, you know, it's just the system. You know, we yeah. go into the, we go into the gents, you go into the ladies, uh, and uh, the idea of bringing us all together, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Who? Nobody wants it, and yet it is imposed on us. And so, apparently, when somebody complained about this at the Playhouse Theatre, uh, one of the staff told this bemused customer, this bemused theatre goer, "Our toilets are gender neutral. If you don't want to use the urinals." That's your call. <laughs> I mean, that's sensitive, isn't it? I mean, if I were a less of a ladylike woman, I'd say maybe us women ought to protest by using the urinals. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know that any women would actually do that. But it's just, like you say, nobody wants it. Even the people that are supposed to want it, uh, the, uh, the minority people that call themselves non-binary, maybe those people i haven't heard a big protest from those people but other people who call themselves trans they want a sense of validation by using a toilet of whatever sex they desire now i may not want them in there but i don't think they're calling for gender neutral toilets anyway so quite the who, reverse like you I say, who thought. is it quite the yeah. reverse i mean they, they, mm. they you know that's what they want they want to be you know uh, classified as women you know and i do Kelly, Jay, as you know, I classify them as women, uh, and uh, you don't. <laughs> but that, they want to be able to use ladies' loose, so it doesn't keep them happy. I don't think it's something that the trans lobby would like at all. Uh, and as I say, I, I just wonder who the hell it is that wants mm. these, because if they think it's an advancement, it's us advancing into a new, you know, liberal, enlightened society, I don't think it is. I think it's a step back towards when we all used holes in the ground. Yeah, well, look, we used to have something called the urinary leash, which was when women felt so uncomfortable, um, or there weren't actually any toilets for women, that they would stay at home. And I do think that this will prevent women. We know that schoolgirls, when they've switched to gender-neutral toilets, we know that schoolgirls actually do, at certain times of the month, or maybe always, want to stay home because they fear the embarrassment of going into a toilet where there might be a boy. So I think, like... It's it's frivolous, it's crazy. The only thing I can think of is that there's somebody with a job that's a diversity and inclusion officer, and they really do want to make their job seem like it's a worthwhile thing to do, and so they invent these silly ideas uh, to in order to look relevant in the position so they get a wage. But I'd say, let's just get rid of these people out of their roles. Let's not have diversity and inclusion. Let's just treat everybody with respect and we can all move forward very happily and use male and female toilets. Uh, indeed. And uh, this is not my hobby. I don't do this uh, uh, often. In fact, I did it once. I once went into uh, at, uh, a, 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 la a ladies' lose by mistake. Right, uh, mm. the public la ladies lose by mistake. I walked in, uh, realised I made a mistake because I saw a woman at the wa washing washing her hands. So I turned around immediately. But by the time I turned around, I thought, my God. This place is like paradise. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, seriously, compared to the blokes, Lou's, I mean, uh, again, if there are any women who ever wanted to share Lou's with blokes, they should have done what I did and accidentally gone into a bloke's Lou, and then they'd have known uh, that you wouldn't want to join uh, where we have to uh, do our business because uh, men's Lou's are disgusting. So that's another reason why women shouldn't be forced to share them. Well, I think, like you, Kevin, I really struggle to think of any good reason for getting rid of male and female segregated toilets. Um, unlike you, I don't think that any man under any circumstances, um, <laughs> except if it's an accident like you, I will forgive you. Thank you very much. I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think that any man, no matter how he identifies, uh, should ever come in women's toilets. I think it always makes women feel uncomfortable. Gender neutral toilets is, is uh, unisex toilets rather, is, is just... For some women, where we don't have our private spaces, our toilets are unisex anyway.
Uh, yeah, this is just the, the victory of woke madness over common sense. Nobody wants this. You don't want it. I don't want it. Uh, nobody mm. wants it. I cannot understand why these establishments are imposing these gender-neutral u- u- unisex loos on their clients mm. and customers. It's madness. Uh, but we always talk about madness, don't we, Kelly? Uh, do. uh, Kelly J, it's great to talk to you as always. Uh, let's talk again soon. Kelly J Keen, there, writer for The Spectator and founder of Standing for Women. Uh, 